Buenos dias, and mis amigos. All right, now I'm going to set the criteria for who is not saved. All right, and then once you eliminate everybody that's not saved, then you realize that we are at a point where there's very few that are saved. Okay, and this is in line with the scripture that says, Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leads to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leads unto life, and few there be that find it. And of course, we know that in the days of Noah, there was only eight souls that were saved. Okay? There are few... That is eight souls saved. Wherein few, that is eight souls, were saved by water. And so also, you know, as it was in the days of Noah, <clears throat> excuse me, so shall it be in the coming of the Son of Man. And except those days be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. All right, criteria number one. Okay, criteria number one is going to be um, do you believe in everlasting life? Okay, do you believe in everlasting life or do you believe in a bonus 1,000 years? All right, do you believe? in a bonus 1,000 years and of course that's what most people teach today is this idea of a bonus 1,000 years all right if you believe that then you are not saved all right faith is the hu the, the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen so what are you putting your hope into are you putting your hope into this idea of a thousand years after Jesus comes? Then you're not saved. You're in that category, that criteria number one. Okay. Jesus, of course, is the everlasting Father. Not the 1,000 year Father. The everlasting Father. So are you putting your hope into everlasting life? All right, criteria number two, do you believe the Bible that you hold in your hands? All right, do you believe the Bible that you hold in your hands? All right, John chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. All right, so the Word of God is God. The Bible that you hold in your hands comes directly from God. God above. And most people, anybody that po points to the Greek and Hebrew, they don't believe the Bible they hold in their hands. Period. Okay, so criteria number two eliminates all those people. Criteria number one eliminates all the people that believes in a thousand years after Jesus returns. Criteria number three is eternal life. Uh, I, I'm sorry, is uh, salvation. Do you believe you're saved right now or do you believe you're being saved right now so um, the preaching of the cross is foolishness unto somebody to them that perish it's foolishness but unto us which are saved it is the power of God so do you believe right now you have eternal life. Do you believe that you're stuck and you can't get out of your salvation? If you're saved, you're stuck, Chuck. You can't get out. There's nothing you can do. If you don't believe that, then you fit into criteria number three, which denies the grace of God. All right? Because it's by God that we're saved and not by ourselves. All right? For it is by grace through faith that ye are saved, not of works. I just butchered that, didn't I? 
For by grace are ye saved through faith, and not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, and not of works, lest any man should boast. So do you believe that you have to do something to be saved? Or are you 100% at the mercy of God? Right, And so the criteria number three eliminates all those that reject once saved, always saved. All right, so real quickly, number one, do you believe in a bonus thousand years? You're not saved. Do you believe you have to go to the Greek and Hebrew? You're not saved. Do you believe that you have to do something to maintain your salvation? You're not saved. All right, so if once you eliminate all those people, then you realize, hey, there's not very many people in the world today that are saved. All right. So there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. The everlasting Father, the Word of God that you hold in your hands, and the Holy Ghost. Which is what we are sealed by. Oh. Oh, forgive me. Grieve not the Holy Spirit of ghosts. The Holy Spirit and the Holy Ghost is the same thing. Grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby ye are sealed unto the day of redemption. The Holy Ghost, same thing. The Word, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God, and the, and the everlasting Father. Do you believe that when Jesus comes, it's the end of the world? Do you believe the Bible that you hold in your hands? Do you believe that you are saved, sealed, secure, sanctified forever? These are the criteria. And 99.9% .9 of the people in the world today do not believe those. They do not believe the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. They believe a bonus thousand years. They believe you got to go to the Greek and the Hebrew, and they believe that you have to work or do something. You know, keep on believing, whatever, whatever it is. They don't believe in the grace of God. And that's the world that we're in right now. And that's the what Jesus is talking about here in Matthew 24 when he says, Except those days be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. 